This is my old Lego coin sorter and it has some serious problems. So I'm gonna make a completely new Lego coin sorter that is actually reliable and can funnel in tons of coins at once. Plus, it'll even have modular coin slots to work with any currency. With everything I learned from last time, this one will be way better. But still, this is probably gonna be pretty hard. Let's do this. So for those of you that haven't seen the original one, it sorts all six American coins, like pennies, maybe, dimes, nickels, quarters, half dollars, and dollar coins. And I'm pretty sure you see why we need to redo this. One of the most annoying parts about this though is that you have to put in every coin one by one through this slot. So I'm gonna make a machine that can take a massive stack of coins and put them out one by one for the sorter. And as I said earlier, the new one will be able to sort any currency, whether that's United States dollars, euros, pounds, Canadian dollars, or even Australian dollars. And I can make it available with a different currency too. These are just the ones I have on hand. So I've been testing a couple different designs for the feeding system. I have this one right here where you have to put the coin stacked up in there and then this tile goes into this slot right here and it will slowly push out a couple coins at a time. The only issue with this one though, is you usually have to have the bigger coins on the bottom, which completely gets rid of the point for a sorter. So I finally decided to go online and do some research about coin sorters, and I found this video. It uses a sort of wheel mechanism with some really small pegs poking out that can perfectly take one coin up. So of course, I've been working on a Lego prototype. Now don't worry about the colors, this is just testing. So I have this circle that spins and this whole curved wall that follows it up. And I have one stud poking out in this entire circle. So when a coin goes on here, the circle spins the stud catches that coin, then it slowly spins around until it eventually gets stuck and breaks. Okay, um, it's a prototype. So it'll catch the coin, bring it up all the way around to where the coin will roll off. And just to show you it working a little better, let's attach a motor to the back and run some coins through it. All right, so we drop them in. Takes the quarter and the nickel out. Motor also gets stuck apparently. All right, and then you can see it'll eventually take all the coins out. So I'm gonna rebuild this and fine tune it to hopefully work better. Let's build. Ignore the messy table for a second. This is the new and improved Lego coin feeder. So you can see that the colors are a lot better. I have four points of studs on all the corners and it actually works pretty well. I don't have the ramp to go out installed yet, so these are temporarily there. So although this is much better, there still is a couple issues. So if you put a penny in here, the penny can become stuck in between the stud and against these slopes over here and it will not move. It'll jam the entire thing. So this really sucks. I'm not really sure what to do because these jumper plates are literally in the perfect place so that dimes can't go out down this side and they can't go down this side either. So if I move it over one, then they'll be able to make it through, which we don't want. But besides that is one other issue and that's that this is really hard to turn. Like it might not show that way on camera, but like it is rough to turn <laughs> to say the least. I tried to minimize where it rubs. It only touches the back plate on that yellow right there and right there. And then on the top and bottom. And yet it's super hard to turn. So I think if I find a tire that's the perfect height, then I'll be able to hold this up, but still glide with it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. There we go, this thing runs way smoother now. You can see that I have four plastic wheels in all of the corners and that helps hold it up, but they all roll with it too when it moves. I originally tried using these rubber wheels, but I think the rubber is too grippy and just causes more friction than something that doesn't have any rubber on it. So I reworked some of the slopes. You can see that these two are now sideways facing the other way instead of the way they used to be like this. So there's a couple more gaps and things, but the penny cannot get stuck down here. It's against the knob and it 
won't get stuck. It just keeps sliding up. If there's a lip vertically, like on this side, it'll get caught in that. So I just turned these sideways and it works perfectly fine now. So that issue is also solved. Now we can start working on the ramp that actually takes the coins out. Well, this ramp was actually more of a struggle than I thought it would be. Like the issue with the penny down here, it kept getting like stuck right here and jamming it and breaking it. So I kept redoing it over and over again. And I made this, which should hopefully work if it's just spinning fast enough. If this isn't spinning fast enough, it'll probably get jammed. And I also had to change up this corner one last time. It was still getting stuck here. <laughs> yeah, let's try this with some coins. So you can see that it spins. Hopefully you can hear me, it's pretty loud. But yeah, we drop a penny in. Boom, takes it out. Dime. Uh, it'll make its way out eventually. <laughs> Nickel. Yeah, see, if I just put this at more of an angle, it'll go right out. See, I'll put it at more of an angle. Boom. And boom! So yeah, it works pretty well. The only thing I have left to add is a little platform down here to hold coins, something like this. This is my original one, so it'll sit right there and I can just set coins on it. And then I just need to create a little stand out the back because uh, it's just a motor back here. <laughs> And just like that, we got some feet and a holder for coins. So if I get my little stack of coins here and turn this on. Shoot, now that's an issue. All right, well, I've been working on this a lot more, just on little things, and there was so many issues, but I think I got most of them ironed out. The main issue was that the thin coins, like the dime and the penny, would get shoved under and go in between the slopes and the spinning disc, and it would just cause a ton of issues, jam the machine. And all of them made it, let's go. So yeah, the issue that I can't really figure out very well is they'll be like that in there, and then they'll just spin. Which I mean, it's not really that big of an issue because when I just put in more coins, it'll just bring it down and flatten it and then it will make its way out. Oh, as I was just saying, that dime got shoved under. That's what I'm trying not to do. <laughs> got it mostly solved. I don't know how it made it under right there. Now just for fun, let's try a different currency like euros and see if they go through this machine so that they can be sorted. These ones are way thicker. Why are all American coins so thin? These are like thick coins, I like that. Won't get stuck in the gaps. Hey, easy, bro. Maybe I should just switch to euros. That was like too easy. Oh, I missed one euro. What? Okay, that's kind of an issue. I think the one cent euro is smaller than a penny, which is kind of an issue with this gap I have right here, but it makes it through most of the time, so I think we'll be good. All right, well, I guess it's time to start on the actual coin sorter. So this is what I'm thinking for the new Lego coin sorter design. So the top bit actually comes off so that you can change this to whatever size you need for whatever currency you need. And then the hole underneath is just a four by four, and then there'll be six of those. So then if you want to sort all six US coins, you can do that, or you can switch these out and use something else like pounds. So yeah, let's times this by six. All right, there we go. There's the base platforms done and now we just need to make six modules. <laughs> Just so you guys know, right now I'm getting all the measurements for the US coins and I'm literally just copying them from my old coin sorter because I already did all the math to figure out the perfect dimensions for them. So yeah, let's keep going. There we go, all six slots done. You can see all that chaos to make the dime one only slightly shorter than the penny one, and it's still completely module. So I realized that some countries like the UK have eight different coins, while the US only has six. So I gotta add two more slots to the end of this real quick. All right, I got the extra two columns added, so then always eight. I can't even fit in the frame, just a second, there we go. So for currency, that only has six or seven coins like the US. I built this stopper, which is basically just a ton of bricks, and that'll just go after your very last one. So then the coins will stop. For those of you wondering, I will be making units for the other coins too. I just gotta actually finish the coin sorter first. All right, now that we got the upper part done, we gotta work on the lower base part where all the coins will fall. We'll just start with a couple plates and go from there.
All right, well, there's the coin sorter. So this whole bottom is one piece, and then this top part will just slide in here and just sits right here. And it's way nicer than my old one because it doesn't move. My old one, you could probably tell. Oh, shoot, I just broke it part of it <laughs> but the whole top part can move and it has like supports on the side which that's what just fell and broke on the ground so uh, <laughs> yeah the new one's a lot better so just to show you let's try all of them real quick so uh, the only sad part about this one is that since i made it modular to work with any coins i had to make it so they like, weren't organized by price like my old one they're just organized by their size because not all currencies have size to price ratios the same as the us okay so that was all good except the dime made it to the penny slot for some reason let's try that again all right there we go and boom i think they all made it to the right slots a couple of them launched out but uh you know they still went down the right slot now we got to try the coin sorter with the loader and see how many coins we can get through before something breaks <laughs> all right so i got both of them here but i realized i kind of built them opposite from each other so the back of the coin sorter lines up with the front of the feeder which is kind of an issue and i also need to make the coin feeder taller to actually feed into the coin sorter so <laughs> let's raise this up real quick All right, we got it raised up and now let's just test this so you won't be able to see the coins fall down that's on the other side, but we'll just test to make sure that the wheel is still working when it's this high elevate off the ground. Okay, it's a little shaky. I might have to hold it. Let's try a half dollar. All right, let's go. I think we're good to go. Let's dump them all in. The <laughs> shakiness of this is technically moving them, so I guess it's a good thing. The quarter and the nickel also landed in the dime spot. So the issue is that the feeder slopes down this way, and when connected to here, this one slopes down the other way. Shoot, the camera's moving. We'll also turn both of these around so you guys can actually see the coins fall in, hopefully. Bro, no way. One of the legs broke, and the whole thing went over. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, some rebuilding. All right, well, I got it back together. That took forever, but every single piece is back on. I'm hoping it still works. <laughs> you should probably test that. Okay, bro. Okay, it's this leg that gives out. This is so annoying. How'd it do? It almost worked. Everything worked except the penny fell in the nickel slot. Come on. Not again. All right, I think it's time to try the cup and see how many we can get on here before something breaks. It's probably a bad idea, but you know, gotta, gotta try it. This thing like moves so much. Ah. All right, the loader shouldn't fall off anymore. No, 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 it's breaking, it's breaking. Bro, the piece is slightly cracked and I knew we were done for. All right, I'm actually impressed with how well the coin sorter actually organized those coins before that happened. So you can see the half dollar, the dollar coin got organized. Quarters are the only thing in the quarter slot, so that's good. Same with nickels. The issue happened here. The pennies and the dimes kind of went into each other's slots. I think that's because the hole sizes are so close together that when they make their way off of the loader, they'll start up here and they have to make their way down to this other side. So I think it's slowly making its way down and it doesn't fully make it to the bottom so it can still fall in because if we don't use the loader and we do it all manually it literally works perfectly all right so now that we have a fully functional lego coin sorter just ignore the loader <laughs> but now let's make some new coin slots to work with other coins than us coins and by the way these pounds that i ordered don't actually come out of here so i had to order some more and they're coming but yeah let's build some for the euros Well, there's the euro coin sorter. It was actually kind of hard to make because all the euros are so close in size. But I'm pretty sure I got it to work. And the biggest coin is the two euro coin, which compared to the US's biggest coin is actually quite small. Let's add it to the coin sorter. So just slide it in there and then rest it down. All right, here we go. Now, of course, they're organized by size. So yeah, it worked perfectly. All right, next up, we got Canadian coins. These ones are all individually in their own plastic bags, so it might take a minute to take these out. But yeah, let's get building.
All right, so there's actually seven coins to this set, so it only takes up seven of the eight slots. You can see I'm starting to run out of pieces a little bit. There's some random colors happening in there, but for the majority of it, it's still dark bluish gray with the navy blue. The issue I ran into with this one is these three coins are super close to being the same size. This bottom one, not so much, but these two, the uh, it's hard to find the cent amount on these. Yes, yeah, so this is the 50 cent coin and the dollar coin, and they're basically the exact same size. There's a super slight difference, and I'm hoping this will work. They're really close though. Also, all four of the smaller coins are like so light like literally this feels like a fake coin like it's just so light yeah let's try this so just like with all the other ones it'll just slide right in here you might have noticed that i don't use the stopper anymore down here and that's because if a coin goes past all of these then it can just fall in the last one anyways and it'll just make it down here or if these are all eight filled up it'll just go right back off the machine which i think is more practical see so yeah, let's try these hopefully the coins being so light doesn't cause an issue i'm hoping it doesn't but it might Okay, this is the lightest one. Never mind, that's second to lightest. This is the lightest one. Okay, we're good. Okay, these are the two that are super close in size. Gold should go before the silver, just so you know. Oh, shoot. Just a second, let me uh, tighten these real quick. These are so close in size, though. Please work. Yes, okay, silver, please make it over that one. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Oh shoot, now that one messed up. I'm not sure why this one messed up, but if it's messing up like that, I literally don't even need any supports on this final one because there's no coins to go over it. So we can just remove those and it should work. Yep. All right, there we go. We got the Canadian coins working. It was probably the hardest one so far. Okay, time for the Australian coins. Okay, forget about Canada being the hardest coins to make this with. Australian coins are way harder. This is the five cent coin, and then this is the $2 coin. And they're basically the same size. There's a very tiny difference, but this makes it super hard to make the coin sorter, especially since these didn't line up with any Lego pieces. Literally, I tried everything. The indented bricks using jumper plates with indented bricks, jumper plates without indented bricks, and none of it worked. So what I settled on doing is actually really interesting. So some of you might know that Lego one by two tiles don't have like placeholders like a normal one by two tile would. You can see the difference there, which means it can slide back and forth on a stud. So with that, we technically have infinite possibilities to adjust to a size, which was perfect for this because I had no idea how I was going to get this to work. So I have a one by four plate running right here, and then I put the one by twos on it set to a certain height that perfectly works with the silver coin, but doesn't work with the gold. And personally, I don't really like this because these tiles can slide back and forth. They're hard to move, but like they still could slide back and forth. But this is the only thing that I know of. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any other ideas that won't like move like this, but this works good enough. The rest of the coins from there were actually super easy. <laughs> so let's try it. Okay, one other thing I forgot to mention is Australia has the biggest coin. Previously, the United States half dollar was the biggest one I had, but compared to this Australian one, it's actually smaller. Plus the Australian one has like 12 straight sides. I'm not sure what shape that's called. <laughs> Probably something weird. But the reason I'm concerned about this is if it goes down the sorter with two points, it won't Fit. If it goes down on a flat side, it will. I'm just hoping that the machine won't get jammed like this, but I'm guessing it would slide, right? I don't know, we gotta try. <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, I also got in some New Brick Studios merch. You can check that out up here in the corner if you want. <laughs> All right, let's start with the smallest. Okay, let's go. Let's go up from there. It's working, that's good, because that took me forever to work out. There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, there was, it was a little rough, but it worked. <laughs> I think it's so heavy, it'll just drag itself down. One thing that's weird about Canadian coins is that literally a $2 coin is so tiny. It's literally the size of a five cent coin, like what? The other pound coins I ordered finally showed up. The person I bought these from on eBay had every coin except the two pound coin. So I asked if I could throw one in and I'd pay more, but literally they just threw it in and kept it all the same price. So shout out to this eBay seller, Stardust SG. He doesn't know I'm making this video at all, but he's a great seller. <laughs> While looking at these coins, I actually see that the two pound coin has lettering on the side that's actually sick it says standing on the shoulders of giants i'm not sure what's that re that's referring to i've never heard that before but yeah let's get to work on making these modules <laughs> All right, well, there we go. There's the pounds. This one was much easier than Australia. So thank you, UK. Okay, let's try it. The UK actually has eight coins, so it's taking up the entire sorter. Let's go. Hey, going. 
I'm not sure why that one was going so slow. I think it's really dirty or something, probably. I don't think I did it in uh, size order. <laughs> it's fine though. Hey, they're all organized perfectly, bro. That's actually nice seeing all eight coins like that. All right, well, there we go. Pounds work perfectly. So on my last coin sorter video, lots of you wanted me to make instructions for it. So for my new one, I've made instructions to build the entire thing, plus all the modules I've made in this video. In the instructions, I've perfected this design so it should work perfectly for when you build it. And if I haven't made modules for coins you wanna organize, just let me know in the comments and I'll make some modules for it. I don't have instructions for the loading machine right now just because of how finicky it is. But if enough of you want instructions for this, I can rebuild it to be way stronger and then you guys can actually build it. All right guys, that's it for this video we successfully organized US coins, UK pound coins, Australian coins, Canadian coins, and euros. If you guys have any ideas to improve the coin sorter let me know down in the comments because I would love to hear it. But yeah if you want to check out another video similar to this I'll have a link up here in the corner and down in the description but as always make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. Let's do this. Bro, I was waiting for the hiccup. It was like ready to come up. All right, well, this one is working. Shoot. And the $2 coin is definitely much thicker, but they're basic. Hey, it's spinning. If you guys have any ideas to improve the coin sorter. <laughs> Dang it, bro. We're gonna stop blending. Whew. We done. This video took like a week to film, by the way. And I've been so caught up in my job, didn't see what's so going on. But now I know I'm better sleeping on my own.